Hello everyone, welcome to a new Let's Play. Today we're going to be starting Spongebob Squarepants The Cosmic Shake. Um, I did a poll yesterday to let people know what they were interested in seeing in early February, and people wanted some Spongebob, which this is probably good because I'm already playing two RPGs and an adventure game, so... <laughs> Mixing a platformer in here is probably for the best. Um, ignore the continue. I hopped in for like a second just to test how some things ran and stuff. So, uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and hop in. Hopefully Mr. Krabs actually has his voice actor this time. I'm ready! I'm ready, I'm ready! I forgot something, I forgot something! Now I'm really ready! Now I'm really ready! Woo! I'm so excited love to love world. We're going to, world. <laughs> going to meet the... up with Patrick before he forgets what day it is. Okay, they're oh, referencing Glove World. Interesting. Are we going to get the glove the glove candy? Where's my glove light? God. I, I one thing I did see from this, it seems like they refer, uh, reference a lot of the uh, episodes and everything. So if you're familiar with SpongeBob, I'm glad to see you and Spot doing something for the environment. It's not waste if you don't waste it. Who is Spot? I was gonna say if you if you're a big fan of the show, then you're gonna you're probably gonna see a lot of references and things that you'd like. But I have no idea who Spot is. In the world of Spot, like your your weird dog. It's a dog. Cats uh, or uh, Gary's clearly like a cat snail, but you're a dog worm. Weird. <gasps> it's bold and brash. No, 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 not you. Not today. This day will be about relaxation and inspiration. I am not to be disturbed on my precious day off. I will spend it with the love of my life. Myself. And my art, of course. Sounds fun. Can I help? For this, I need you to get something very important for me. Go away! Squidward's so much more relatable the older you get, I swear. I can't believe you're painting bold and brash. God, there's gonna be so many references. I'm gonna love it, and I'm not gonna catch some of them, like Spot here. Maybe that's from one of the movies or something. I didn't really watch the movies. Or some of the later episodes? I'm not as familiar with the later episodes, of course, but... I will probably be catching a lot of references. Come back after my alarm goes off! I'm on a tight beauty sleep schedule! Okay. Bye, Patrick. Find a way to Sandy at the Tree Dome. This font can be a little hard to read sometimes. It's hard to describe. The A's look weird. Right? The A's look extremely weird. Can't help but notice you hanging out up here. How are you? Do you ever get the sense you're being controlled by a higher power? Or like, some kid? No, I'm not a kid. I'm 29, I'll have you know, and I'm sitting here playing a kid's game. So, you know, fair. Fair for you to assume that I'm a kid. Oh, hey, it's, uh, Karen. Hey, Karen. I wouldn't bother going that way if I were you, SpongeBob. Big traffic jam blocking the road up ahead. What? Then how is everyone enjoying food at the Krusty Krab? They aren't. See for yourself. I'm stuck here with the owners of rivaling restaurants, the Chum Bucket and Krusty Krab. Okay, we're getting to see Plankton. Seems like a perfect opportunity to start a documentary about Bikini Bottom's best restaurant. I, 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 I. Oh my god, it's actually Mr. Krabs' voice, not the one that used the Bikini Bottom rehydrated. Thank you! <laughs> it was so weird to hear Mr. Krabs in the other game. Good idea! A movie about how delicious the chum bucket is would rake in millions. Hey, you know I meant the Krusty Krab. Nobody goes to the chum bucket. Unless it's to ask for directions away from it. Rude. Anyway, officials are still investigating where the nails that caused this chaotic collision came from. Maybe Mr. Krabs can help find the culprit. He did have a truck full of nails delivered the other day. He must know a lot about nails. Great, now I can get up. How to jump. I've already been doing a lot of that. Thank you, though. Gotcha, back to game. Check if Sandy needs help. Whoa, wow, you actually have a climb. Interesting. 
I haven't seen any collectibles or anything to get yet. Um, I'm pretty sure the, the tiki totems are, are back in this game. And are we still collecting the, like, weird little colorful things? All right, back it up. Nothing to see here except the giant traffic jam. Uh-huh. It is a big traffic jam. It's a pretty rough one. Luckily, some boxes landed there. Oh, hey, it's Shady Shoals. I'm trying to sleep with my eyes open. Where's your jalopy, old man Jenkins? Wait, that doesn't look like old man Jenkins. I thought old man Jenkins looked totally different. Am I crazy? I thought Old Man Jenkins was like a short fish that had like liver spots and glasses. I don't remember a beard. Huh. I wonder who's at fault here. Probably that guy. What guy? What guy? Oh, hey, Pearl! Hi, Pearl. And how are you on this beautiful day? Oh, SpongeBob! Didn't you hear? It's a tragedy! There's a huge sale at the mall today, but because of this stupid traffic jam, none of the buses can get me there. That is a tragedy. Well, the bus to Glove World is still running. You could join me and Patrick there instead. Um, thanks, but I have a social status to uphold. You have fun without me, SpongeBob. Damn, rude. How what you got against Glove World? What happened to me? Why is my life like such a tragedy? Are we going to be going to Rock Bottom? I hope so. I hope we're going to rock bottom. Sandy, I'll get to you in a moment. Sorry, my rectangular friend. Nobody's getting through right now. We're still sorting out this massive traffic jam. Oh, I see. Well, thanks anyway, officer. Good luck cracking the case. You called me a rectangle, but my name is Squ SpongeBob Square Pants. I guess my pants are rectangular too. Fair. I'm hungry and confused. Mommy! Why do you sound like an adult, but you're calling for your mother? I mean, I guess you can still call for your mother if you're an adult. Here they are! I can't destroy them yet, though. I don't know how to smash things. Oh, hey, it's the kids. You look creepy. You look like you belong in Psychonauts. Alright, let's go. Do I have, like, a sprint or a run or anything? No? I guess we're already kind of running. Howdy, SpongeBob! You're up earlier than an insomniac rooster! In the mood for a little morning karate? All right, had to do something really quickly, but uh, insomniac rooster. Love to, but we'll have to put some padding on that one, Sandy. Patrick and I are about to have the best day ever at Glove World. Do you want to come? Best day ever. <laughs> Thanks, but you ain't putting no glove on this squirrel. I'd rather seek the thrill of toning exercises and rubber duckies. Toning exercises are very thrilling. But if you got a little time to spare, I could use your help hauling out some old junk from my yard. Anything for you, Sandy. I'm ready to haul, y'all. Beautiful, beautiful. Clean up around Sandy's tree dome. Okay, now we can collect things. Looks like we got doubloons. Okay, how to spin attack X. Okay, now it gives me the ability to do so. Before I couldn't do it, but now we can. All right. Can I get smaller or did these tiki's get bigger? That's the question, huh, SpongeBob? Yeah, it looks like we got the balloons and then whatever in the world that other thing is. No idea. No earthly idea. Maybe that's like our main collectible, our stars, what have you. Great job, SpongeBob! My yard's looking fine as fur on a frog! Thanks for your help, and have fun with Patrick! Alright, now Patrick's gonna wake up. Get off your ass, starfish! Find a way back to Patrick. Okay, so I gotta hit this. How to spin attack. Yes, yes, we know. We know, video game. There we go. Bouncy. Ah, my beloved bikini bottom. The most perfectly perfect place in the entire universe. Home to my friends and memories. Hi, Karen. Okay, we can hit people now. What? <laughs> what happens if I hit Squidward? We gotta go hit Squidward. For science. Squidward doesn't like it very much. All right, he doesn't say Good anything morning, though. Best friend, are you ready for a lovely adventure? Not. What am I? I stayed up all night pretending I had hands. M many moments later. Many moments later. Okay. I should save that to use in videos. <laughs> <laughs> Patrick, 
cool kids. <laughs> Hi. Yeah. <sighs> I wish I could do cool things. This wagon just ominously appeared out of nowhere? Who cares? Uh, no, still not cool enough. Huh? Huh, can I have this? What, this old piece of magic and mystery? Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Madame Cassandra, purveyor of long lost treasures of the Seven Seas. For those on a budget. Magic bubbled soap. Breathe life into your dreams. They say with this unique bubble maker thingy, you can become whoever you want to be. Receive whatever you want to have. Just bubble your wish into the heavens. Not that it ever worked for me. Woo! Two hours later. Okay. You're selling us some snake oil. Gotcha. I wish. No. I wish now. I wish to Okay, my first wish is on behalf of my very best friend who loves balloons. I wish for Patrick to have the biggest balloonist adventure of his life. On free balloon day? <laughs> <laughs> balloons! Is it too much to ask for just one day of peace and quiet? How am I supposed to paint my newest masterpiece with you two clowns constantly giggling in my ears? I wish that Squidward will finally be appreciated for his art. What are you two up to? Wait for it. I wish for the whole world to see how amazing Sandy is. Thanks, SpongeBob! Nifty Bubble! <laughs> Three hours later. Is anything oh. actually happening? <laughs> SpongeBob, what does it mean when it says, Only those of innocent heart may harness the power of the mermaid tears? I guess it means I was destined to find this bubble soap. Hey, wait. It also says, Property of King Neptune. Not for use by mortals. Use sparingly and with caution. Oh, God. Exactly how I planned. Exactly how I planned. Okay, so we screwed everything up with haunted bubbles. Well, magical bubbles. Manure? Ew. Okay, wait, maybe those things are the things we collect. Oh no, Patrick! What have we done? Patrick is a balloon. Well, you got your wish. Who would have thought that a magic potion from a mysterious fortune teller in a sketchy wagon could backfire? Not this guy. Yes, it was utterly unforeseeable. Wait a second! Patrick, you're a balloon! I wish. If I were a balloon, I'd be able to do cool stuff like this! And this! And this! What in the hell even was that first thing, Patrick? See, SpongeBob? Oh. I am a balloon! That's probably why I've been feeling so bloated lately. We need to find our friends and make sure they're all right! All right, here we go. Get across the flooded area. So Patrick is my Navi. I see. And you're just gonna fly around with me. Interesting. So these are the things we're picking up. Okay, so maybe the balloons are like... Squidward is such an even-tempered fella, or he might get upset about this. Oh god, there's a skeleton on Squidward's house. Also, my pineapple has been... opened? It's now... canned pineapple? It's canned pineapple. Oh, things are happening. Weird things are happening. Everything is mushing together. Okay, hello. It's not a rock. It's a boulder. Oh no! My giant sticky notes are gone too! Now how am I gonna remind myself to buy more giant sticky notes? Don't worry, Patrick. I'm sure those sticky notes are around here somewhere. Or there. Or over there. 
God, get ready for the LP of me just mo constantly making SpongeBob references, because that's what we're in for. How to ground pound. A plus B. I can do that. A, B. Wasn't there like a new season of Spongebob where it was like Spongebob and them when they were in school or something? I want to say there was, but I never heard anyone talk about it. Okay, there's the manure truck. I don't want to know what the manure comes from. Seahorses, maybe? Alright, and we got a cardboard building. Anything hiding back here? Doesn't seem so. Well, I can smash this. Never mind, my ass is not big enough to smash that. Wait a minute! Maybe all this craziness is from one of Sandy's experiments gone wrong! I bet it's all her fault! Yeah, yeah, I'm sure it's Sandy's fault, Patrick. I don't think so, Patrick. Sandy's experiments always leave the smell of acorns in the air. All I smell around here is... <gasps> sponge breath and bubble soap. Also leaves the smell of Texas. Oh yeah. That's the good stuff. Alrighty. Check on Sandy, find a way to reach the Krusty Krab. Okay, now I can smash my ass into that. Now the button is activated. Anything else for me to grab though? Some people hiding over here. Hello. Can I get to you? I think maybe I can. It's that kid. Oh wow, the tree dome, I just realized it's like totally smashed. Whoops. Sandy's house feels wetter than usual. I think we might need to find the top half still. Yeah, well now we can just freely walk around in the tree dome without having to wear like the little uh, the little fish bowls. So that's good. Okay, doesn't really seem to be much else going on here. I just thought I would grab those few little uh, collectibles. Wait, what was that? Oh, I think that was Patrick like teleporting in beside me. I just caught it out of my uh, corner of my eye there. All right, smash. We got tiki's to grab. How to glide. We can glide. Oh wow, we have the Krusty Krab pizza box. Krusty Krab pizza is the pizza for you and me. Interesting. I never would have imagined a pizza box would be what I glide what I was uh glide with, but uh here we go, I guess. Ooh, you really descend quickly. Uh-huh. That meter looks Interesting. Oh, Krusty Krab. What will the brave people of Bikini Bottom eat now? And without Mr. Krabs, who will help them unburden their wallets? I need to fix this. Oh God, what are those? Ew, go away, please. Take your wobbly hand off of me. I'm too smart to end like this. He's been to college. Save Plankton and Karen. Why are they just walking around in their underwear? What? Oh my god, what is this thing here? How to dodge? We have a dodge. Interesting. Yeah, that, uh, that, uh, the, the little meter for when you're gliding looks like, I don't know, it looks very placeholder-y. It doesn't fit the aesthetic of anything else in the game, I should say. It looks very weird. I can't believe we have a dodge. Yeah, let's go. Look at that. SpongeBob's ready for Dark Souls. These cellular idiots. Thanks to you, all of Bikini Bottom is sunk into chaos. My restaurant is tipped over, and our poor little spot is missing. You could have at least involved me. That's like, you know, my thing. Spot's yours? Correct. Oh no! Sorry, Plankton. We'll make things right again. You have to fix this before someone besides me can take advantage of this chaos. Correct. Why are you repeating yourself? Is your hard drive skipping again? You need to put an SSD in that thing. In. Correct. Yoo-hoo! Over here, my little blunders. All right, Madam Cassandra. I'll get to you in a second. <gasps> it's mystery! Hi, mystery! I think I've seen, uh, looking at art in this game. Oh my god, we actually have, like, a proper hub world? Look at this. We got, like, little teleporters and stuff. That's neat. And yeah, the chum bucket's tipped over. I can't wait to ride Mystery! I'm pretty sure I've seen you in, like, promo art as, you know, there's levels where you ride Mystery or something like that. Because, yeah, there's all kinds of signs with Mystery on them. Her name is Mystery. My adorable cuties! 
You survived this calamity. No, oh, Madam Cassandra. We were just having fun, but we accidentally used too much of your magic bubble soap and destroyed Bikini Bottom. And now all of our friends are gone, and there's jelly everywhere, and... 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 I miss my Care Bear! <laughs> That'd be me if I ever lost my cat, to be fair. Well, one of my cats. Oh, this is just too perfect. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that there's probably people that have already made art of you on the internet. That's not just any jelly, SpongeBob. It's cosmic jelly, the glue of reality. Your bubble extravaganza must have blown holes through the universe, squeezing the jelly out and sucking your friends into new and strange worlds. That was going to be my first guess. Me too. You have to bring me as much of it as you can gather so I can study it and, um, help reverse the mess you've created. After all, I'm at least partially responsible giving you such a powerful potion by accident. Oh, so you want us to gather it for you so you can quote-unquote study it, sure. Makes sense to me. Uh, no questions here. Excellent. Now jump into the portals that opened up all over town. I can use some of the jelly to tailor cosmic costumes for you, each linked to one portal. The more jelly you bring, the more portals we can pass. Are you ready? Okay, we did get different costumes. I always like this sort of thing, like uh, Sly Cooper Thieves in Time did it, where you get to like go to different themed areas and stuff like that. That's always really fun. I'm ready! Come on, let's save Bikini Bottom from the unintended yet devastating consequences of our own actions. Hooray! Patrick, we save the city! Ooh, cowboy. <laughs> Find the portal that suits your costume. Once you have located your friends, you can use the magic bubble wand to return them home. All right, partner. Use the shop to equip and purchase SpongeBob's costumes. Unlock costumes by playing the story, collecting doubloons, and completing side quests. Use cosmic jelly to purchase unlocked costumes. Access the shop in the pause menu. Oh, boys. You must feel awful about this, huh? Award unlocked, dress up. Okay, unlock your first costume. All right, cool. We have like achievements basically. Well, that's nice. Uh, world map, costume shop. Okay, so we got Wacky Child, the perfect costume to visit Glove World, and then just regular SpongeBob. Yeehaw, time to saddle that seahorse. All right, well, we'll probably. I wonder if there's a name for something like that. Yeah, is there a name for some sort of some sort of person that ranches cattle? Some sort of some sort of cow person, you might say. Alright, well this seems pretty neat so far. About what I expected. Like I said, this this thing just it really looks like it it's just a placeholder. That like A button and stuff? I don't know, it looks weird to me, but we'll we'll ignore that, so. Yeah, hope you enjoyed this first episode, and I'll see you next time for some more.